CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Why did this IOL decenter? The caps are back, totally intact. So let's take out that suture there and open up this original incision. The patient had a cataract surgery combined with a vitrectomy about two months ago. And initially the eye well was reasonably centered, but as the eye healed and the capsule bag contracted, this lens decentered. So our first step here is to get underneath the capsule X's edge and inject our dispersive viscoelastic. And we can't quite get it on that side, so we'll go around to the other side Again, getting under the capsular edge, and once we have that, injecting the dispersive viscoelastic to dissect open the capsular bag. And that visco dissection is nice and gentle and very effective. If you really have a hard time getting underneath the edge of the rexus, you can use a 25 or 27 gauge needle on the viscoelastic. Just be careful not to damage the capsule. Now the capsular and bag inflated, we'll use the spatula here to try mobilize that eye well being careful not to damage the capsular tissue. We definitely need this capsule in order to support the replacement lens. So once we get the lens dialed up here out of the capsular bag, I think you can see the answer. There's only one haptic. There's an optic and there's one haptic, but the entire other haptic is missing. Now, is it in the eye? We asked the original surgeon and he said that in fact, on insertion of the eye well, one haptic was broken off and his decision was to leave it in the eye with one broken haptic. And initially it stayed reasonably centered. But what happens is when the capsule bag contracts one or two months after healing, well, then you end up with this situation, a very decentered lens. So we're just using a spatula now to open up the original incision, trying not to cut a new one. If we need to cut it a little bit, just make sure we're in the same exact path. And there's about a three millimeter incision. Using the chopper here to help grab with straight tying forceps. And now we're gonna do our twist technique. Spatula there to protect the cornea. And you twist the forceps, rotate about three, 360 degrees and pull out of the eye. There's the whole lens. Lens comes out nicely. Now you can twist the tying forceps between your fingers to achieve that full rotation. Or you can start off very supinated and then move your hand to pronate it in this technique. And there's the lens, let's remove it. Now let's make sure the capsule bag is fully inflated and we're going to put in our new lens in the capsule bag completely. We want to avoid sulcus placement if we have an intact capsule bag, such as this case. There's the new three-piece lens. We'll be very careful to load it appropriately. That's a C cartridge. We're just going to make sure this trailing haptic is over the edge of the injector, just so it doesn't get caught in the plunger. That looks great. Now we'll deliver this lens in the eye. If you deliver a lens during a routine surgery and you notice that the lens is severely damaged, like loss of a haptic, don't continue or explant that lens. It's not going to stay centered. You need to have both haptics on these lenses. So now delivering the lens inside the eye, there's one haptic, there comes the optic, and here's the trailing haptic. And again, we'll make sure this goes completely in the capsule bag. So in this case, this, this uh, decision to leave a broken lens in the eye necessitated a trip back to the operating room. We'll get that haptic dialed in there. So if you're in this situation, never leave a broken lens inside the eye. Much easier just at the same sitting, explant it and get a new one. Always the best option here. And I'm happy to say this patient did beautifully and everything turned out great. And thanks for watching our cataract quiz. I trust that you learned a lot. Be sure to check out our teaching website. That's cataractcoach.com. There's a lot more material on Cataract Coach than you'll find here on YouTube, and it's organized in a much easier fashion. You can search for things by category. If you want the entire Cataract Quiz series, that's there. If you want to see lens exchange surgeries, we have a whole category of that. You can also sign up for our free daily email, as well as submit your own video. You can submit an anonymous complication. We'll feature it here. I'll do the editing and the voiceover, and we'll all learn a lot. So here you go, finishing up this case now, removing the viscoelastic, being very gentle inside this eye, and that should do it. Thanks for watching.